Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, hope you're all well. So yeah, um, at the end of the last episode, I said that I was going to have a look at some monies. So yeah, I've upgraded our Ukrainian garage and um, yeah, so now we can hire two more drivers but I can't afford another lorry yet, but I will be able to um, during this episode. So. Yeah, let's get going, shall we? Probably shouldn't have come up here because it's going to be a little bit tricky getting out of it. Use all space. Hopefully we don't hit that. Away we go. Oh, the hell is this? <laughs> okay, I think we're going Romania, aren't we? Yeah, when we've got some money coming, um. I'll, yeah, show you what truck I buy. I've already hired a new member of staff, so um, welcome aboard Saskia. I think it was Saskia, and yeah, what a lovely name. In fact, I think I hired two, because it won't be long before we've got enough money to buy another truck after this as well. Yeah, I see it as an investment. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we can't be far away from it now. There are five hours, so we'll get there in this episode. Yeah, once I've recorded this, unfortunately, I've got to go back into work mode. It's a nice client though, so... the round 
roundabout. Take the second exit. Exit now. Yeah, she's actually quite funny because um, yeah, she was talking and um, her phone went off and she said something that if you were Christian or religious you'd be offended and um, I laughed she apologised I'd, I'd already laughed and I said honestly it's absolutely fine I'm not offended at all and then um, yeah so after the appointment I went to another client and uh, yeah my phone kept going off with emails and uh, yeah, she actually recorded a video clip of her saying about how sorry she was and um, yeah she wasn't thinking and all this kind of thing I messaged her and I said it's Honestly, it's absolutely fine. I'm not religious, and even if I was, it, you know, it still shouldn't offend me. It was just a mistake. But yeah. <laughs> and obviously, our time zones are very different. And it was quite late when. Oh, he was swerving that. Yeah, it was quite late for her when she'd done that, so. Yeah, huge respect to someone like that. Right, I'm going to have to have some coffee in a second. Yeah, I'm exhausted. The other night, I forgot to say about this, so the other night I was, um, yeah, half asleep, and um, I thought my girlfriend was asleep too. I was laying there, and it was completely silent, but... It, very faintly I could hear what I thought was an air raid siren and I thought Jesus you know like where is that why is that happening and um, yes yeah, so I got my phone which was on charge and um, yeah I was googling air raid siren UK and air raid siren London and all this kind of thing and nothing was showing up um, you know that was relative to that date you know that that day's date and I didn't know what to do because obviously yeah like I haven't got an underground bunker or anything like that so I was just laying there thinking what the hell do I do now and it was quite late it was probably about one o'clock in the morning or something didn't want to wake my girlfriend up so I just thought okay well if I can't do anything I'll just go to sleep so I went to sleep and then in the morning I said to her last night there was an air raid siren going off and she said no it wasn't an air raid siren it was roadworks <laughs> so they've they've shut off my road and whatever tool they were using when it was powering up and powering down it sounded like an air raid siren but yeah she was awake and heard it and wondered what I was doing on my phone at silly o'clock in the morning but yeah imagine actually hearing it there was someone on YouTube recently who um, did a review of a old an old um, army vehicle right. 
and uh, yeah that had an air raid siren built in and he kept doing it and I was uh, thinking right. you know if, if you heard that in the distance you'd be crapping yourself wouldn't you it's like in Ukraine like when it first started happening it was a really haunting sound obviously for all of them but Go straight where it's so messed up right. there they're kind of used to it now turn right which is disgusting yeah brave people live in there And a lot of the people that stayed didn't have to. So there's a huge amount of women there that had the option to leave. But they've stayed and they're doing, yeah, great things. Yeah, if it happened in the UK, I think a lot of um, a lot of blokes would flee, save having to stay and fight. Yeah, if it had happened in the UK, I'd be the only person in my family that had to stay. Because my dad's older than the age requirement. Yeah, so it would literally just be me left. Doing, mate. already gone. That was way too soon, wasn't it? Why 
what is going on with my channel? It's so weird. Sometimes a video comes out and instantly people are watching. Then other times just no one. And at the moment, unfortunately, it's no one. So yeah, if you're liking um, this series, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. And yeah, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I do upload frequently. And um, yeah, most of my videos I put lots of effort in. Even with a blocked nose, drowsiness. So yeah, get your violin out. does sound good. I'm glad I got that sound mod. The only thing is they messed the um, yeah fighter jet sound up. It just... Unless I can remove the fighter jets, it shouldn't be over cities. Because um, you spend too much time there, so it just seems to go on and on. Like me, really. But that's the thing, if you start leaving comments, I'll have something to um, talk about. Oh no, oh, going too quick. It's like my ATS series quite a few episodes now I've said the truck hasn't got a name so if anyone wants to suggest one I'll choose the best yeah the best option but no one's made a comment suggesting a name The trees are a bit broken. really hoping I can have a rum and coke tonight. Suzuki Swift Sport. Yeah, said to be 
really, really good cars. And if you'd like to um, see a review on a Suzuki Swift Sport, um, what's his name? Hubnut, who's one of the people I subscribe to, he's um, done a test drive of one. And yeah, he's always um, honest and accurate in his reviews. So yeah, if you like cars, it might be worth checking out his channel. You may remember him from years ago when he had long hair and some blokes really don't like that kind of thing but yeah so if you're one of them sort of blokes you'll be pleased to know he's cut his hair off and um, he actually did it for charity so his hair went towards um, I think it's called the Little Princess Trust or something like that so it's basically when children have to have treatment and they lose their hair so his hair lived on and made a young child's life much more pleasant so yeah he has short hair now yeah him doing that charity thing he didn't have many subscribers or anything he wasn't doing it for subs I'm sure of it he seems like a genuinely nice person um, he did actually do that charity thing where he had his um, head shaved and because of that he met his girlfriend um, who's a lovely lady so yeah it wasn't only a good thing for the charity, him doing that it was a good thing for his life and his channel because she's loved by many. You have arrived at your destination. Let's have a quick look. Right, brake pads. Oh, I don't need it on that, do I? Uh, hmm. It's too much. Because that's 3,200 return. So, yeah. We'll have to take watermelons to Serbia. Yeah, why not? Actually, we haven't been to Moldova yet, have we? It's less money, a lot less. Sorry, mate. We're doing the melons. Right, so, looking at the uh, money there, um, I'm going to quickly buy a truck for Saskia. So... Uh, let's go, oh, I clicked the wrong one, didn't I? Oh, this is good viewing, isn't it? Oh no, is it frozen? I'm going to pause it and sort this out. Right, sorry about that, everyone. So we're going to go for the F2000 again, and we're going to go this paint scheme again and as it's going Ukraine so it's kind of Ukraine colours nice and yeah I'm not skimping out so I'm going for the top engine as well even though it makes absolutely no difference so 
if you're playing this yourself and um yeah you think that you need to get a special truck for your stuff you really don't so yeah purchase that and yeah we got saskia and another one in reserve as well what was her name katarina so another lovely name so yeah welcome aboard saskia enjoy the truck right so we've loaded up Is that traffic? Or is that parked cars? Bloody traffic, isn't it? What's occurring? Turn right. And I've completely messed this up because we're gonna end up going up on the curb now. How do you feel now, mate? There's probably about 20 people watching you. How's it make you feel? You're eager to get there, aren't you? <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we're gonna have to curb it. We're going to hit that as well. Oh, I've messed this up. Sorry, Panda. Ready to turn left. Turn left. Nice. Just can't see their signals. Right, I'm going, sorry mate. But you don't want to be parking there or stopping there. Close. Right, got loads of fuel. Keep right, and then turn right. Okay, John. Turn right. Oh, I could have gone through the petrol station. Away we go.
what am I doing? At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. Right. Oh, there's a barrier there. Yeah, I know, mate. There's a barrier here that's not really here. I saw it. I was going to go and speak to him. Go straight on. Right, what have we got here then? Um, yeah, that actually, that was so violent, it actually broke the mount of the steering. Don't start bibbing, mate. You can see what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put my steering wheel back on. Right, so, um, yeah. I'm going to stop trying to be clever. I'm going to fix this. And, um, yeah, and then I'll start the next episode parked up somewhere. So thank you for watching, everyone. Sorry I've got to end it like this, but, um, yeah, this isn't going to be fun viewing, getting out of this, because there's another invisible wall. Anyway, yeah, so thank you for watching, and fingers crossed I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.